Egg tart. Let's begin. So you want to first start off by cubing your butter. That is really cold. Then you're going to get some flour, add some sugar into that, and also you're going to add a pinch of salt and mix it well. Then you're going to bring back your cubed butter and add it into your flour mixture. And you're simply going to toss the butter around in the flour and use your thumbs and your fingers to break apart the butter in the flour. Sorry, those are my cousins. Now once your butter and flour have been thoroughly mixed and it almost resembles breadcrumbs, you're going to add your water in and mix it with your hands slowly. With a lot of patience, the dough should start to form a ball. Now, you're going to wrap this in plastic wrap and pop it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and we're going to start the filling. Now, separate your eggs because we're only going to be using the yolks for this filling. Now, add in your sugar and you're going to mix this around for about two minutes or until it gets a little bit lighter in color. When you lift it around like this, it should be thick in texture. Now you're going to add in the whole milk. And I forgot to film myself adding the heavy cream, but you're also going to add the heavy cream in the step and also add in your cornstarch. And mix it around. Now in every great baking, a little bit of salt always goes in to bring out the flavors, so you're going to add in a pinch. Turn on the stove to about medium high, and also add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I like to use vanilla paste because I think it tastes better, but vanilla extract also works. Now remember, you have to stir this constantly. I'm going to lower the heat. Stir this constantly, and once it's done, how you can tell is you take the back of a spoon, run your finger along it, and if you can see two pass, it's good. Now you're going to roll out the dough, put some flour on top of the dough, and also the rolling pin, and just roll it out to about a centimeter thick. As you can see, there are a lot of butter chunks showing through, which is a good sign. Now you're going to take a wine glass or anything you have and cut out circles. Then you're going to place these circles in your muffin tin and just work it around until it looks like a little tart shape. Now fill it up with the filling that you made previously. And just keep going until you're done. I like to fill it about 90% way. Preheat your oven to 375. Now you're going to bake these for 30 minutes and broil it on high for the last two. So this is the finished product. Hey guys, it's Vivian with here and I'm just done making the egg tarts and I actually just tried one already. But I wanted to show you guys and do a little mukbang for you guys with obviously a cup of coffee. So here we go. This is what it looks like. It wants to focus, but... Mmm! 
It's super crispy, <clears throat> but it's very rich inside. So you might want to pair it with a cup of coffee. As you can see, you want this kind of car caramelization on top. So for the last two minutes of my baking, I decided to use a broiler to get this kind of caramelization. So I would definitely recommend that. And it's really easy. You only need a few ingredients, which you probably already have at home. So I would definitely recommend this. So if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below because there'll be many more videos to come. And if you decide to make these egg tarts, please tag me on Instagram at VVHugeSean. I'll leave uh, the name in the description box below. And good luck to all my bakers out there. That's it for today, guys. Bye!